morning everyone it's Julia from Crosspatch how are you doing uh, I'm in my new study in the 1970s house uh, the new sheds aren't done yet Carwin's run out of wood blah de blah so uh, we are stuck working from the study and upstairs out of one of the bedrooms <laughs> anyway today finally we'll do a demo a uh, quick one on how to make the little bucket bags so you can either make them I sell what Moda would call candy bars, so it's basically half a charm pack. Or get a charm pack and cut it in half, so you've got two and a half by five inch rectangles. Okay, so you can use those for the bag and for the handles. Um, or if you've got the baby boy or any of my hexi flower templates, you can just use a plain bit of fabric and you could decorate them with some hexi flowers. Here's another hexi flower one. They're handy for keeping your fat quarters in. You get quite a lot of fat quarters in those. These are the woodland ones, which are really cute. And they make lovely presents. So if you want to make really quick Christmas prezzies, you can make these really quickly. So in the pattern, which is on the website for the bucket bag, you'll get the templates for hearts, flowers, and for these bunnies. So if you're actually organized, unlike me, and want to get ready for Easter, you can make ones like these. So these were a candy bar one of my candy bars and then I put yo-yos on the back um, just to hide where you join at the back and the last Christmas one these are the Dashwood Studio long quarter pack that I've got and again I've decorated with hexi flowers so it's cute for Christmas instead of wrapping stuff up make one of these and put a load of little presents in there some like smellies or something or toys if you're making them for the kids so they're really easy to make. I recommend you use bosal or whatever the equivalent of bosal is. And you need a piece of bosal that's 20, roughly 24 and a half inches, 25 inches by five inches. Um, if you're using candy bars, all you do is you sew them directly onto the sticky side of the bosal and you flip and stitch them as you go along. So if you see, I've just left one loose on the end there. I've put right sides together with the one I've just sewn on. I'll just stitch across there, just take the pin out, and then you just flip it over and press it down. So you've sort of quilted it as you've gone along. Um, if you're doing just a piece of plain fabric, you could do like a Christmassy one. Let's take this off a minute, take the pins out. So here's one, I'm going to make this up into a Christmas one. So I've got some poinsettia fabric. I've just ironed that to the bosal. Um, in both cases, you need another bit of backing fabric. Again, it's approximately 24 and a half inches by five inches. And you'll place that right sides together on top of the bosal and sew all round and leave a gap sort of in the middle of the bottom there for turning, okay? turn them right sides out and then top stitch all the way around and then you're going to join at the back but before you join it at the back you want to make your base up make sure it's going to fit your base so on your base I'll tell you all this in the in the distractions let me just measure how big this is in case you want to draw your own circle I think they're six inch one two three four five six seven eight inch diameter circle there you go so eight inch diameter circle, and then your fabric, fuse your fabric to that circle, but make sure the fabric is about half an inch bigger than your bosal. Because when you sew round, you're just sewing round, you just catch the bosal on the edge as you sew around. So there's the back, right sides together. And just catch it round and leave a gap about that big for when you and turn it inside out. And then you've got enough you'll just fold over the gap, pinch it over and top stitch all round. So that will be your base. So that's going to be the bottom of my bag. And that's going to be the inside. So I've fussy cut this pretty uh, meadow fabric for this one. So this is going with this one. So I've got the, um, the busy bees on the inside. I've got the pretty meadow fabric on the outside. And then this is going to go in the middle. So before you join you're out a bit of your bag fabric, just make sure that the base is going to fit in it. And all you do is slip stitch it round. 
just catching the edges round. So let's show you the bottom of one of these. You can't really even see the stitching very well. Oh, this has been on the dust on the top of the wardrobe. You can see where I've top stitched both bits, but I've just slip stitched them together. So I go round roughly with a loose top stitch and then I go round again and tighten it all up. Uh, it makes it stronger as well. You want to go around a good couple of times just to make it strong, otherwise it will fall to pieces. So your bag handles, when you put your bag handles on, you see there, oh, what I forgot to tell you, before you sew that bit together, if you want to add any like lace or tape on the top, do that before you sew your main bit of the bag together. So some of them I've put lace on, some of them I've put tape on, some of them I haven't put anything at all on, like the Christmas one. I didn't bother putting anything on that one. So before you join this bit together, put your bit of lace on and then join it together, then slip it, stitch it to your base. So then your base is done and you just need your bag handle. So your bag handle, you can either use two bits of fabric. So normally I would use a five inch strip of fabric, iron some wadding to one side. So this is five inches wide by, how long is this one? This one is 15 inches long. It's up to you how long you want your handles. So I've just put the wadding on one side, folded it in half. There's a separate demo if you look through on bag handles anyway. So if this isn't clear enough, then just stitch, not on the folded line, stitch down each side and then up to about leaving a two inch gap in the middle. Then you can turn it right sides out and fold it in half again and slip and stitch across the top. So you'll end up with a flat handles either side. So if you stitch from two inches, three inches from each end, when you folded it in half, you've got these flat bits on each end, which will sit nicely on each side of your bag to finish it off like so. So they're really simple to make. Um, good Christmas presents, birthday presents, whatever. If you want um, candy bars, this one's a Bliss candy bar. They're on the website. This bit just fallen off, so I need to finish that off. Uh, this one is the Stitcher's Companion candy bar. So it's all pretty florally pinks. A bit of Dutch heritage in the middle, fussy cut. Uh, and then I've appliqued the bunnies in felt. Um, these are the other shapes you'll get. You'll get the heart and the flower shape. And then on this one, I've put yo-yos in the middle of the applique shapes and I put just put one on the back there. Uh, the other thing you can do if you've got a candy bar, you'll have enough left over, join your candy bars together to make your handles. So your candy bars are five inches wide. So if you join, how many have I done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine strips I've used and join them together in one long piece. And then again, say if this was the bag handle, I would have put wadding one side and just, as I said with the other way, with just a plain bit of fabric, then you'll fold it in half so you get a strippy, strippy bag handle. But go look, if you're not sure on bag handles, go look at the other uh, video on bag handles and, and it'll go into more details on that. Uh, these will be on Create and Craft on the 2nd and 3rd of December. Now, what time am I on? I think it's 7pm um, and 8am, but it'll be on their um, schedule anyway. Um, I'm waiting for the boiler man to come and then I'm going to go for a walk because it's actually not raining. I'll turn you around and you can have a look at what I'm looking at from my desk. Of the view this morning very autumnal very pretty um thanks for watching uh see you on create and craft in a couple of weeks bye